you choose a graphics card, uh, very similarly to choosing a PC, you want to take all the specs in consideration for what you're doing. So most people buy a graphics card for gaming rather than video editing. But um, there are a couple of things that you want to keep in mind when you go shopping. Um, one is the connector type. You want to make sure that it puts out to DVI not to um, or high, higher uh, standard like HDMI. Um, the reasoning behind that is that the old type of connector, VGA, is not capable of handling such high bandwidths of, um, of graphics and, and all that stuff to the monitor. So that's one thing to remember. Uh, also, what you want to remember is what kind of uh, connection do you have on your motherboard? Uh, is it an old AGP connection or is it a new PCI Express connection? The old AGP, even though you may find a cheaper card, it's not going to function as quickly as, say, another card of the same brand, same type, on a PCI Express, because AGP operates at a 4x aperture, and then PCI Express operates at 16x uh, uh, apertures. So that means all the, the graphics can be put to and put off of the graphics card in a faster fashion on a PCI Express. So uh, with that, you want to make sure that PCI Express is the way to go. Also, will your graphics card suck up all the power inside of your computer? Uh, a lot of pre-made um, computers from say Dell or HP, they have a particular power supply that only powers enough for the, what came out of the factory. So if you put in a brand spanking new graphics card, chances are it's going to suck up a lot of power out of your computer. So you want to make sure that your, your uh, power supply can accommodate uh, the right kind of graphics card. Um, also, um, when you're looking and shopping um, between comparing the two major uh, brands, you got NVIDIA and ATI, you want to make sure that it's going to get what you want. So a, a good way to kind of uh, discern which is good for you, uh, you take a look at the box that your game, whatever game that you're kind of targeting for, you kind of take that, you look at the recommended specifications and go up to so, for instance, if one recommends an NVIDIA G4 6800, like this one here, you want to go up another couple of iterations, another generation maybe, to a G4 7000 series to kind of make sure that any other game that you buy in the next one to two years will be able to accommodate um, the new games.